All right, got a new camera. Yeah. As you guys know, so I feel like it's just like a wider angle. It's so weird. It's, it's a wider angle. The screen is to the side, so it's like you can't look at the screen anymore. Because with the G7X, right. it was above it, so you could kind of like look at yourself, but you were still looking at the camera. This one, you can't really look at yourself because then you're like looking off to the side. So we're gonna have to get used to this, but I feel like this is such a wider angle. Like, look at us. You can actually like I know see us and this like see around like around us. A little I bit. know. We actually have to clean our room. <laughs> huh. Since we haven't been filming a lot. Yeah. I feel like I get a lot of questions or like a lot of things that people want to be updated on. And so that's what this video is. It's just like a giant sort of Q&A, sort of like update on everything. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest questions that we've been getting is about your shoulder. Really? Yes, and like, what's the update? Because I think the last time we really like focused on your shoulder was like right after surgery. Yeah. And then we haven't really updated since then. So like, what's going on with your shoulder? How's your shoulder? For everybody who, Okay. Doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Ben dislocated his shoulder. Playing football. I tore your labrum. Tore my labrum. Had like some humeral fractures in my shoulder bone and had to go get surgery for it to get repaired. Yes. So that's kind of where we left off. It's yep. like after the surgery, you had surgery and you were in your sling mm -hmm. for several weeks. And, and honestly, that was not fun because <laughs> I am so, I just, I have to keep moving. I, I I always find something to do. Maybe we don't, maybe we don't have like a busy day, but I'm always moving around. I'm always cleaning up. I always find something to do. Yeah. So after surgery, the fact that I could like, I had to sit in bed was very difficult for me. And How I just- How many days did you sit in bed? Like two? <laughs> Barely. 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 And, and the two. second day I got up and just doing a lot and then I had so much pain. Yeah. Anyway, so I just didn't do a very good job at like listening to like my post-op instructions in regards to like what I was able to do. Like my doctor said that I can't like untwist a water bottle and I was like, that is completely and utterly ridiculous to me. Like I, my arm was in a sling. Like I'm not moving my shoulder. I just hold it and then twist. But even you brought it up to dad and he was like, yeah, you shouldn't. Anyways, I, I did a, I'm fully aware that I did a bad job of like listening to instructions. There was a section there where I was like, okay, it's not worth it. Like, why would you push yourself right now and then have to redo the surgery and then have to go through everything all over again, the month wait, then the surgery, and then restart your timeline. So there you will admit there was a time frame where I was like, okay, you are doing too much. And then I chilled out for he was like, make it to this threshold and you are. I think good. it was like four or six weeks or four something. Four or six like weeks, that. and I think I had that conversation after two weeks. So I was like two weeks of being like dumb. And then I was like, okay. And then I was smart for the net for the last like two to two to three weeks. I was at PT, I did PT once a week and Pretty much right off the get-go, I remember my six-week appointment, he was like, yeah, he did like my range of motion test. This isn't the shoulder, but like he did my range of motion test. He did like a strength test, like he pushed my arm both ways, stuff like that. And I was six weeks post-op, and he said that I was measuring between 10 and 12 weeks post-op with my strength and my range of motion. But right. then again, I was also like doing PT as much as I possibly could. He was like, you can't overstretch yourself. Like if it hurts, like don't do it. But like, you kind of know what a good stretch is. So I was stretching a lot and doing all this stuff. And I want to say after my seven weeks, I just stopped going to my PT. But luckily yeah. I had your dad. I talked to your dad a lot and was like trying, I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to go back to the gym or I want to do push ups." And he was like, do this first, see how that feels. My dad is a PT. Hurt. Yeah, her dad's a PT. So it was kind of like, it wasn't like I was going like unadvised. I was getting information, but not from necessarily my PT. I think you went to the back to the gym in July. Yeah, I did. Your dad was like, I think you're good to go to the gym. Just stick to machines, not free weight, stuff like that. I didn't necessarily follow that. I advice. was gonna say. <laughs> but I went back to the gym and I felt completely normal. I was able to bench like, 185 know, for 10 reps. What the, it wasn't about like no, if you no, felt no. normal or not. It was yeah. about the control yeah. over the weight 100%. and like 100%. you losing control. No, and I will say like, I, I remember when I benched like 185 for like 10, I was like, okay, I felt like that was dumb. I had a spotter. Uh, Cause I met a couple of guys that had other shoulder issues in the sauna and I saw one of them and I was like, please, could you spot me? Like, yeah. But, um, after that set, I was like, okay, I need to chill out a little bit. But I, I mean, I felt great. And then I went to the gym for like two to three weeks and I felt phenomenal. And I still feel great. I feel completely normal. Nothing has changed. Like I, I'm in really no pain. I have like some soreness. Yeah, maybe if I, maybe if I wake up and I sleep on it weird. I think the reason why we stopped updating is because truly it was causing a, well, no, it was oh, causing yeah. a little bit of issues between 100%. you and I. I think he and I had different opinions on how the recovery should go. And it was like really, really worrying me. Like yeah. I wasn't 
trying to keep you from like your full no. potential. It was like genuinely worrying me like how much he was doing and it was really stressing me out a lot. So but it was we all... genuinely didn't agree no, on like no, the plan not. of no. like recovery. Yeah. So to be honest, the first like two weeks were really, really hard. It was hard. Yeah, I don't know. I, I felt like I was always like, okay, like I will be able to tell. Yeah, and you you know your body, you yeah. know your limits. Like yeah. I understand that. Yeah. So I just went back at the beginning of August and uh, my doctor, my, my surgeon looked at me and he was like, you're fine. Like he did a range of motion test. He did a strength test. He looked at it and everything. And he was like, I don't know how. We weren't supposed to discharge you for another three to six months because the post-operation thing is like a six to nine month process. Uh -huh. But he was like, you're fine. He was like, you can go back to playing football as long as you're careful and cautious and not being dumb for the next like three months, which I have been. You can ask everybody <laughs> at football. I have not- I'm not dove, even going to football. I'm I just not, don't want to be there. I'm not dove for anything. Better. I have not like fallen on the ground. I, I have, but <laughs> not like in a dumb way. It's more of like a protective, like kind of sliding on the ground. But anyways. So yeah, I got discharged and he was like, I really don't know how, but And you've been back good. playing football. I've been back <laughs> playing football. I've been back playing gym. So everything's literally completely the it's, same. It's, everything's completely the same, which, yep. you know, praise God. Because yes. when we first got the news that you I would was... basically be out for a year. Yeah. Like that year. was really hard here, and I feel like if you would have just like, oh, I was so, I if was you so thought, emotional. if you knew that you would be fine by yeah. mid August, like, I'd be literally fine. completely fine. Like, look how many. It was definitely hard for us, for sure. Yeah. But I also do think that it was kind of good because we've never been in that dynamic. No. So anyway, that's a shoulder update. Basically, we're fine. Everything is completely back to normal. Ben's playing football. He is. I don't even like think about it anymore. To no, be I don't honest. either. I, I don't mean, even think about the fact and that's and that's another thing that I'm that I'm very thankful for is the fact that I'm doing everything normally, and it's not even in my head. The only times I think about like, oh my gosh, is when we're playing pickleball and you like fall on the ground or if you like run into the fence. Yeah, yeah. Then mm -hmm. I'm like, oh shoot, like your shoulder's injured, and everyone on the pickleball court kind of goes like, oh, like, like, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's the only time that I think about it, but yeah. other than that, I've well because that's I mean I've never really thought about it. Yeah, whenever I'm falling, that's the only thing that could re-injure it at this point is yes. like falling weird and doing it for the next like three months. The next one is just overall like how are we feeling about bringing a fourth baby and like our emotions surrounding having a fourth child. So right now I'm. 36 30s, weeks. Almost 37. Oh wait, no, I guess At the end of this week, I'll be 37. I'm like beyond excited. I feel like we have the Google three kids. The three kids is so easy right now. It and is, that it's is very so easy, which is a good thing to, to have, which is a good thing to have going into four, baby. I would hate to be overwhelmed with three adding another. Like we are yeah. so comfortable. The girls play so, we figured out the dynamics and the different things that help each kid. Like sometimes we just need to take a break. Sometimes they're great playing together. Three kids is easy, which is such a strange statement to say. The other day I took them at like 30, Four thirty-five weeks. Oh yeah. I took them out to lunch, like yep. sitting down at Red Robin. Mm -hmm. I took them to lunch and then I took them to Target. Target. Mm -hmm. All by you myself. You were gone for like four hours. All by myself. Three kids and like nine months pregnant. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really, really excited about oh, fourth baby. So excited. I feel like it cannot be anywhere near as hard as it was bringing Addie into this world. I'm really excited. There's oh, like, yeah. there's honestly, I'm, I don't need. I haven't even thought about how we feel about bringing a fourth baby in because I just don't even think it's going to be that bad. No, like, I, like I don't that. even dwell on the fact that there will be another baby because I don't know. It's just like life is, we're just ready for it. Yep. Like, and I also feel like our kids are just like, they're at good ages. Like Addie's fine. And like, I look, like I look at Addie now and I'm like, you're like a full blown like toddler. I can <laughs> talk to you and like, have a yeah. conversation with you and be, you'll, you're at the age where you're able to understand things. She's fully potty trained. She's like, fully potty she trained. She communicates so well. She plays with Ellen and Avery very well. Mm -hmm. She just went downstairs and got her own snack. It's just like, like and she's, and she's great. And the other girls do a, such a great job of like kind of including her. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's everything is great right now. I know it really is. And so I'm really excited. I'm feeling really confident. Like yeah. I feel confident in my ability to like have all three of them. Mm -hmm. And I also love also, having newborns. You've been absolutely incredible at school. Like I feel like we didn't really stop school because we kind of did school throughout the summer because we knew that you were going to be pregnant and giving birth in September, which is in the school year. So we were like, okay, let's give ourselves a little bit of a buffer or you, this is all you, you said you're going to give yourself a little bit of a buffer and continue doing it during summer. 
And the fact that we do it even throughout the weekends because the girls want to do it so yeah. much. Anyways, you've just done a great job because the girls love doing school, which is like they ask to do school, which is like a great sign that you're doing a good job or they enjoy doing it. Yeah, I'm really excited to like baby wear and like continue to do school. I got That's some so questions about that too. Like how I, if my mom's going to take over school or what, like I don't know, I'm, I'm, it's easy. Like it's, I mean, it, it max an hour a day. Yeah. And, and I, but I also think it's just. And if we need to split that up, then we need to split that up. It's really not And I also hard. think it's just kind of your personality. I think that that's something that you, you're very good at. You're very intentional and you're very, like I feel like other people would have a hard time with it, but I think it's just kind of like what you were meant to do. I just love doing it. You're, it's you're really very, fun. you're beyond patient because I could never do it. I, <laughs> I, I sometimes am overhearing it and I'm like, absolutely not. I could not do that. <laughs> I love it. We have like, uh, I just, our, our school room is, it's already set up. We already have a routine. We have exactly what we do every single day. So yep. I think maybe taking a week off and then jumping back into it. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm like, hey Ben, why don't you bring me up some of the school books in, or uh, even, in the bed? Like, or even you can like throw it, like maybe it's a PE week, you know? Breach baby update. Oh, yeah. And um, it's kind of a two part question of like, why I'm scared about a C-section and mm. if I would ever consider doing a breech delivery. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow to see if the baby's still breech or not. I can't really tell. I feel like the baby moves around a lot, so it's never really in one position. So I don't really know what to expect tomorrow. And then what am I afraid about a C-section? I've always been terrified of C-sections. Yep. I... I'm terrified. No, I'm terrified of a C-section. Like I, I'm even more scared of an emergency C-section. Oh. But there's several things that I'm afraid of, <laughs> like the whole thing. Like one, first of all, being awake while you're being cut open, and like the risk of not being fully numb. Okay, yeah, I get, I can get that. But like you're awake, so like it's not like they're gonna put me out and then yeah. I don't have to worry about it. You know, they put me out and then they cut me up. No, but that, I'm okay, awake. but then wouldn't you not like it if they put you out because then you wouldn't be there for your Some, baby right there? If it was an emergency thing, I think I would ask them to put me out. Really? I don't want to. And I just I can't. I no, I know. Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, let's just. The second thing is. And this one really freaks me out. <laughs> hey, what? So, uh, why am I tearing up? Wait, when they like, rip you open? No. Okay, yes, I have. I, like, I know way too many details about how they Haven't do you it. watched a C-section before? No. Are you crying? Yes, because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, after, no, when they're trying to take the baby out, they, they go, lots of tugging, lots of pressure. That's what they say, like, okay. lots of tugging, lots of pressure. And they're literally, like, reaching... They cut you down there and they reach inside of you and like scoop, scoop the baby out, okay? With the placenta. So, but while they're doing that, uh -huh. you feel like compression of all of your other uh, <laughs> other organs. Ew. So that's why they say lots of pressure, lots of... It's like your heart's in your throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Ben, that like makes you want to die. Like... Stop. No, seriously. Like care. laying flat on a bed and like them saying like lots of tugging, lots of pressure. And all you see in like C-section videos at that point is like the mom like being strapped down and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like they're ben. rough? They're like... No, yes. No, yeah. No, seriously. Yeah, okay? let's just... So that freaks me out. All right, lots so... of tugging, lots of pressure. I don't want you tugging on anything. As you okay? can tell, we're a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Rightfully so. Okay, the third thing is throwing up. I felt like I would throw up because I'd be like nervous, very nervous and like they're giving okay. you medication. And But I'm like laying flat and so you have to like wait until it's like, I can't okay, do yeah, it. You're, I think it's okay. Let's just not to. get there. Let's just not get there. Let's see what your doctor says tomorrow. I'm actually going to her appointment, which I'm actually very excited for because I think this is, our sec this is my second time going throughout this pregnancy because usually I'm at home with the girls. Okay, and then the other part of it is like if I would ever consider delivering a breech baby, no. That's scary. Yeah, I don't know about that one. So I would prefer the C-section yep. over the breech baby, but if it was in, if the baby was breech, my ideal situation would be it being something that was scheduled and planned and that I wasn't rushed into and yep. that like I could, it would be more of a calm yeah. setting. Oh, oh, the other thing is having a major abdominal surgery oh. while also having three other kids at yep. home. Yep. That I don't love. Yeah, and it's not like your body, you're not used to it because it's your first time doing it. So it's gonna be I like can, it's... yeah, I recover well from vaginal deliveries. Yeah. I don't, 
I a major abdominal surgery I feel like would set me back more than what I'm expecting to be set back right now. Yeah. Like I'm expecting to maybe be in bed for like a week or two and have the girls with me. Not, and like take not a if slow. you have a C-section. If I have a C-section, I'm gonna be out for like a month. Yeah. And you know what? I would sit in bed. And you. And should. I would recover. <laughs> Yeah. What do they guess the baby okay. is and what do we think their reactions are going to be overall to having another sibling? Okay, so Avery is 100% girl. Avery wants it to be a girl and she thinks, thinks it's, it's a girl. girl. And also she's very adamant that if it's a boy, she won't like she it. She will not love it. Yeah. Which we've tried to change that narrative because we're like, oh, it's still your sibling, even if whatever, no I, matter I think what it she'll is, be fine. she'll but, be fine regardless. But I think she's going to be very good. I think the one who's going to be the most excited for the baby is Addy, one million percent. Because- Are you gonna be excited? You are you, do you think it's a boy or a girl? Yeah. Yeah, girl. she said, she has said girl she like said this whole girl. time too. And I think she's gonna be so She's gonna be excited. so excited. Well, because your sister came into town and she has like a young baby. Uh-huh. And she would not leave her side. I know. Like just giving really her wouldn't. toys. So like, I think Addy's gonna be the most excited for her. Are you excited for a new baby? Yeah. Yeah. I also think Ella's going to do oh, great. Oh, Ella's going to do so great. I think they all are going to do great. They all are going to do great. They all are going to do great. I just think it's funny how adamant Avery is. Like, girl. And it better be a girl. I know. Ella wants it to be a brother. Mm -hmm. But she's not as, like, strict on that as Avery, Avery is. is. Yeah. Like, yeah. Avery's like, I need it to be a girl. I want it to be a girl. Mm -hmm. It has to be a girl. So, um, I think Ella's going to be fine either way. But she oh. wants a brother. Mm -hmm. Avery will be disappointed. And sad if it's a boy, but we'll be fine. Yeah, she'll we'll be, fine. be extremely ecstatic if it's a girl. girl. Yep. And then overall, Addie, I don't think Addie cares really about gender. No, I think Addie she's just going to be excited regardless. Yes. Okay, we had to take a brief lunch nap time intermission. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people are asking for an update on Cozy Sun, which if you guys have been around for about a year, we yeah. opened up Cozy Sun in the summer of last year, summer of 2023. And we did a, a summer fall. launch, a fall, and then a Christmas yeah, winter. launch. And I've been debating on like, how I wanna address this, like how I wanna talk about it, because I feel like there's just so many different layers to this situation and like what happened. And I don't, I don't know why, but I just feel like this answer could be a whole video in itself. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Of like me, explaining everything because it has it has to do with me and my mental health it has to do with mm -hmm. um the time consumption that it took expectation of what it was supposed to be versus the reality of what it was pricing yeah and how expensive it is to do what we were doing the process of everything from start to finish just what we had in mind for what it was going to be just didn't turn out to how it was going to be and at the how it was and at the time i had just started homeschooling the kids we don't have help with our kids we don't have a house cleaner we didn't have i was new to homeschooling yeah um there was just so much and then adding so much on my plate mm -hmm. really made my mental health like tank i was so sad and depressed the second half of last yeah. year i've never been that sad before just so overwhelmed and feeling like my purpose my purpose was to like be with my kids and homeschool the kids and like do the housework and i i love that kind of stuff but my role was more of like no you have to do all of this work we were very strict on the kind of shirt Yes. and the quality that we wanted as far as yes. the design on it we didn't want it to deteriorate we didn't want anything cheap so we were spending a lot of money i was so frustrated because i spent months reaching out to almost all of every single major bank and even not major banks just mm -hmm. trying to get a business line of credit we should not like I, I talked to your parents about this and i was like they were like, you should have no issue getting this loan. It's the fact that you are so young it was our age, and it's yeah. it, and it's like the amount of money that we're talking about. And I'm like, it's so frustrating that like age is still a component and when it comes to like financial status. I'm like, it made it so difficult. It was really it's, difficult. It's, it was really difficult. And even even now, like if I go as a 25 year old asking for a hundred thousand dollar business line of credit, they are not gonna give it to us because of our age. No matter yeah. how much money we make, no matter anything, it just yeah. doesn't matter. Like I said, there are like literally a thousand different strings to like how this played out and like 100%. why we've kind of taken a step back because we're really trying to 
figure out how to make this enjoyable. Comfort Colors was what we were using and Comfort Colors only has a very small selection of colors, which mm -hmm. I already, I was already getting frustrated with that because I didn't want to continue to keep using the same colors on yep. a different, and putting a different design on it. That was frustrating me. So I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I want to manufacture my own things. But in order to do that, that takes time. It was extremely overwhelming. Everything and, was yep. very overwhelming. And I've seen people comment like, oh, I'm sure she doesn't do this anymore because like, they didn't make any money from it or they're da -da -da -da, or they make way, way more money from having a baby than they are whatever which actually could not be further from the truth but it was also like we have to weigh your mental health our relationship everything that's going on it, like, it's just not like it was just it wasn't and, and, the right time and we don't even know what we're going to do with cozy in the future that's why we really haven't addressed it like right now you can go on our shopify and you can still buy the shirts like we, I know, we, we had a, stuff we had an order to come through today that we're, we're going to ship out and get done like it's still there and still available we don't know what we're going to do i have realized through this process that i am not a boss babe mm. which i could have told you a long yeah. time ago but Truly the 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 art of selling yourself and like selling something that you made f Doesn't come naturally to me. It doesn't it makes me feel bad. Yeah. There were times where I was like Ugh, Like we have to price these things a certain way because we need to make money in order to like make this work and all of that but I literally, it made me feel bad. I yeah. know that there are people out there like when they make sales and when they drive people to buy their products, whether it's good or bad, like they don't care. They just want to make money. And to me, I was like, I just, uh, I'm like, I know that I would spend the money that we were pricing our stuff at. I would buy something for that price. But I was like, not everyone can afford this. And it felt really, really yeah, shitty it, to it, me. It did feel that like I didn't want anybody to feel forced to buy it or that obligated to buy it or like in order to support us they needed to buy it mm -hmm. and it that was another thing that really took a huge toll on me I was like oh my gosh even though I can confidently say I'm 100% confident in our product oh, I do not think anybody percent. would be disappointed with getting our product no. it was a high quality product high quality print print like it was a plus quality however I still felt like I just, I, I don't like selling things. It's yeah. not what I enjoy and it, doing. It also seems like from like an outsider's perspective, it's like we were so in like, it like engulfed our entire life. Like all your Instagram stories and everything was like kind of promoting it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of just like, I don't know. We, we're still trying to figure out what we're, the steps forward are, if we're going to continue or if we're just going to like, what to do for me. Yeah, I, it was something that I know I would enjoy if we could figure out mm -hmm. how to make it more enjoyable. Yeah. You know, so like, I want to figure out how to make this work on an enjoyable level, not like on a business level, because I feel like we, mm -hmm. we hit the jackpot business level. Like everyone was so supportive and we honestly, yes. the business was extremely successful. It was just mentally very exhausting oh, 100%. right now obviously we're about to welcome a new doing baby yeah, we're so we're taking that. the year off and i we will probably reassess this at next year regardless if you bought something we are so unbelievably yes. thankful for you we don't want to seem like we're complaining or anything like that it was just we want to be the best parents that we can and we also want to be there for one another and if that means mm -hmm. that we need to take a step back from something that even was a financial gain for us we're going to do that because right i don't it, it, it does that doesn't matter like, right i, I yeah. wouldn't want anything to happen between us because we're there's just so much tension and there's just so much to do or and we want to be there for our kids so yeah. moral of the story is we're still trying to figure it out we're, we're, we'll, we will update you guys but we have literally taken a jump back and we are like we're gonna let this sit and because that was a lot that was a <laughs> yeah, lot that was a lot and we want to figure out how to make it more of a smooth process and yep. figure out how to make it fun mm -hmm. and something that we enjoy and really bring the vision to life of what we originally yep. envisioned it to mm -hmm. be like you know yep. people are wondering about baby names Ugh, we don't even know okay so we have we for sure have a boy name oh, we have a boy name and we've had a boy name for a while long time when, when did we like i feel like 
Ben and I only ever agreed on one boy name. Ever. Because honestly, there's a lot of bad boy names. There's not very many good boy names. We only agreed on one boy name. And so that would just be his name. Like if we had three boys, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, I don't know. Because oh my goodness, I don't the boy know. names are just bad. Boy names are hard. Girl names, I would say we One, have two. two names that we both really, really love. Yeah, it's like tied though. Like we can't really like. Yes, and then we probably the have other. like four underneath that that are like potential like, oh, that's I like, like these two. That's like a different paragraph. Like it's yeah. like these two names and then like. Yeah, so basically Ben and I stopped chatting about names. Yeah. Well, okay. weeks ago. But Katie wants to like go to the hospital and like if it's a girl like look at her and then like see what name fits and I'm like what if we disagree? I don't think we will. Like what I if really we don't. look at what if it's a girl and we look at her and we're like oh we both are like that looks like blank and we say the opposite name we're just like looking at each other like I don't think we will. I don't know. What if we That's ever like scary. disagreed on that kind of thing? Like, I guess you're right, but I, feel I mean, like we're very in tune and like. But then again, we've never ha gone to the hospital without the name. Like never. that's a, that's a little scary to me. No, no, it's like it's because really then, scary. Then you're on a timeline. You're like, okay, you got 24 hours before yeah. you leave. You have to sign the birth certificate. I think I don't know. We can look up what the Colorado law is, but I think you, we might have a few days. But could you imagine like bringing a baby home and like not knowing, not knowing a name? name? I like don't that'd know. be kind of weird too. So. If it's a boy, we have a solid name, 100%. If it's a girl, we have like four. Our anniversary is coming up, which means that we've almost been married for six, six years. years. We've been together for seven. That's crazy. I know, and some people are wondering like, how have we like, how do, what do we do for like date nights? Like, how do we stay? Well, how do we get along so well? I don't know. Yeah. You made me lunch and you made me breakfast this morning, which was really sweet and like, you will go and offer to go get me a coffee or mm -hmm. um it's just like the little thing we also just we like watching shows together we like spending time together at night like mm -hmm. watching shows and like eating dinner together that's yeah. like our go-to little date night so if you consider that a date night i feel like we do that like two three times a week yeah so okay. like we really do actually make a lot of time for each okay. other especially after the kids go honestly, to bed especially it's funny because I feel like our relationship is the best whenever there's a show that we're very into. Totally, because yeah. we're so into it and like we're spending so much time together at night and like we go and like have our wing stop and then watch the show and like Like we're doing that tonight and I'm so like, excited. Yeah, cuz the love cuz the Love Island the reunion. Love, the Love Island reunion is tonight. So we've literally planned it out. We're like, okay, the reunion tonight. We're gonna go, we're gonna go play pickleball, we're gonna come home, we're gonna put the kids to sleep, we're gonna get wings up, and we're gonna watch the Like, reunion. do you not have butterflies in your No, room? like, I'm excited. <laughs> like, I'm a little bit excited about it. Like, I've kind of been thinking about it all day. So, so whenever it's like, whenever we have a good show that we're truly invested in, like, I feel like our relationship's really good because we're, like, talking about this, yeah, yeah, this yeah, drama yeah. on the TV. Yeah, we're just, yeah, like, yeah, spending yeah. so much time together and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, but that, I feel like that's what you have to do as a parent. You can't just sit there and be dormant and be like, oh, well, before we had kids, we could go out to the five-star restaurants right. and do all of this stuff. You can't do that. I, I don't know how, I really don't know how we do it because we spend like 95% of every day together. Like, but like not really. I feel like in passing, but like well, it's right. not concentrated We're in the same household. Yeah. Like I could yell to you if you're like working or if you have the kids and we can communicate. Yeah, so I don't know, Ben. I don't know. Uh, I just feel like at the end of the day, um, Ben and I are like best friends. Like mm -hmm. that's how we started our relationship is like as like actually as best friends. And we've yeah. always just gotten along. We've always been friends at the end of the day. We just yeah. get along. Like every we just agree on everything. Mostly. Mostly. And but then it's not it's not like but I also think the things that we don't agree on we can like still have a conversation about, which is totally. also very important. And then I mean like I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I really don't know I, how to I, answer that I don't question. either. I think, honestly, I think it's, our situation worked out really well because her love languages match the type of person that I am yeah. and vice versa. Like, I really don't know how, like, our whole story just, like, completely unfolded and how I we know. are where we are today because, like, if you just, like, put those, if you just, like, state those facts out, like, how we just, random. like, it's, it's just, crazy. it was such a random, like, pairing of us and then it just happened to just be, like, a the perfect, perfect you know yep. oh the other thing i wanted to do really quick was to like show our wall oh okay do you want to show it really quick sure. then uh i don't think we ever 
like fully did an update on our wall or like that it's finished. Really? We never did that? I don't think so. I thought we did. Well, it's finished. It's finished. <laughs> the room is finished. The yeah. room is completely finished. Mm -hmm. Don't mind the Sonic cup just sitting there. I Sonic Powerade is just, it's what I need. Um, new, all new bedding, new curtains. We raised up the curtain rods. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, ship up the wall, paint the wall. Obviously, we did the Got wall. new lamps. Yes, I love those too. Yep. Got new lamps. We moved the mirror around. This is my new rocking chair. This is where I ate lunch today. Yep. Um, and she reclines. Also, I love how we got a rocking chair after I like don't need it anymore for surgery. It's fine. Oh, a recliner. Yeah. Or sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. So I'm really excited about this. Yep. And we got a new dresser. Got a new dresser. I love this. Oh yeah, dresser's definitely my favorite purchase we made. I, yeah, yeah. The most expensive, but also the best purchase we made. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all the social medias down below because I feel like we update on those a lot more frequently. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.